Hi, I'm Mary Tiriak from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now, Mary, you've been traveling around the country for about 10 days. Can you share a little of your impressions uh, of Tunisia after the revolution? Well, uh, we're going to be leaving tomorrow, and I should say that I am so comfortable here that I don't want to go home. Uh, I find the people incredibly nice to us. Wherever we've gone, we've been to Sousse, we've been to Esfax, we've been to Jerba, we've, uh, we've eaten in a uh, troglodyte cave in Matamata, uh, and everyone, everyone was wonderful to us, and I have not felt any of the fear that my relatives warned me about that I might have cause for. It's just been very pleasant. So uh, part of this trip has been dealt with, has been involving uh, meeting people and talking to them particularly about the revolution. We're, fi we're here in May for those who see this. So it's five months after the revolution. What were the impressions you've, you've uh, gotten from the many people you spoke to about what the hopes or the possibilities for a uh, democratic process continuing here? I found mixed reactions to the revolution. I found that people who were doing well before and after uh, uh, were a, a, a little, little worried about the kids revolting again. But the kids, and, and I shouldn't say kids, young people, uh, 30, 26, uh, one very well educated, another uh, very well equally educated but unable to find work. Um, seemed a, a, a little uh, frustrated, pessimistic perhaps. They had so suddenly found themselves in a situation where they had what they wanted or what they thought they wanted and they feel that all they have with the transitional government is more of the same. But I cannot say that's true across the board for young people. I've also met some young people who just are filled with hope. And did you find learning about this and hearing from people, was that to you an important part of this trip? It, uh, that was pretty much every reason why I came. I was very interested in how the Tunisian people felt given the fact that they were pretty much the, the uh, movers and shakers of what is happening now throughout the Arab world. It's a, a very exciting place to be right now. And uh, as a retired university professor, what did you sense of the uh, education level of people you met? I was really surprised to see how well educated most of the people I met were. Um, uh, there is free college education here for those who are able to uh, make it into college. Many, many people have the, have the baccalaureate degree. Uh, the problem is that with a large portion of the population being 25, year, uh, 25 years old and younger, those same people are, uh, are unemployed. Not all of them, but many of them. And they're, they're restless, and I understand that. But the, uh, the English, French, Arabic, German, unbelievable levels of uh, uh, language acquisition was really taken by that. So you mentioned some of your relatives and friends expressed concern. What, what, what do you have to report back uh, when you return to Philadelphia? I'm uh, returning in September, and I hope that they'll come with me. Well, that's very nice. Well, thank you for sharing with us, Mary. You're very welcome. Have a good trip back home.